talk about a really controversial topic <laughs> but not in a controversial way we're going to talk about politics what's the jewish view on politics and government well i can tell you right off the bat judaism says worry about it <laughs> worry about your government worry about your politicians we have to be worried about what the impact is going to be on our societies when we choose politicians Judaism teaches us to be weary of the politician. They'll eat you up. They'll use you. They'll, they'll treat you great when they need you, but they'll forget about you really quick when they don't. However, Judaism teaches us very clearly we have to pray for our state. We have to pray for the places that we live that they should be good. They should be just and moral and righteous to the degree that they can be. But bottom line is we want law and order because otherwise it's chaos. So Judaism is very clear that we pray for the government. We pray for the leaders that they should be doing the right thing in the right ways for the sake of the people. So with all that, with all that worry on our head, how do we choose who to vote for? Right, a very prominent topic. I know the American elections are coming up. Israel seems to have an election every other month, right? <laughs> right? All places around the world. How do we choose? Judaism teaches this incredible lesson. Heavy masoon and bedin says be deliberate in judgment. Gather the information and think about it. And you know, here I am on social media telling you that all the information is not on social media. <laughs> you have to read, you're gonna have to talk to people. Talk to people you respect. Talk to people whose opinions differ from you that you respect. Get the information and be deliberate about it and judge who you're gonna vote for based upon a collection of evidence and information. You've just gone by what's being said on the internet. You're gonna go here, you're gonna go there, you're gonna go there, you're gonna follow what the tides are, you're gonna follow just what your peers are doing. That makes sense. Make a determination, be careful with it, and vote. Vote on the ideas and vote for the people who hold those ideas that you hold are important. Could be the economy, it could be foreign relations, it could be Israel. Let's face it, that's a very important topic. I asked my son the other day, my nine-year-old son, I said, who are you going to vote for? He said, well, is the candidate good for Israel? He said, that's who I'm going to vote for. I said, all right, very good. We know there are myriad, myriad issues. Think about them deeply and where you stand and what you think is righteous and just. The Torah should be our guide, but think about what you think. Figure it out, see where the candidates are who you think are going to help affect the most change in those areas to positively affect the entire world. Now, why is the Rabbi Cook talking about politics? Because today's Americana Day, man! <laughs> We're making burgers with pickled onions and corn, regular old cookout, a barbecue. Alright everybody, let's make America and food again let's make american food again calm down everybody <laughs> no politics here let's make american food again let's go let's go back in time a couple of days where i prepared these onions to make pickled onions and peppers first things first you need some red onions gotta chop them up i guess i get emotional they're making me cry i love it I love it. It's a crispy, great smell. We got a mound of onions here. I'm gonna fill up the mason jar as much as I can with those onions. This brine is fairly simple. It's equal parts water, vinegar, and a nice fat pinch of salt. That's all. You know I love adding a fat pinch of salt to my dishes. Okay, most brines get boiled. I didn't have time for it, so I'm just going to give it a good mix, let everything come together, and work from there. I'm sure it'll still be delicious. I'm going to try to combine everything now without making too much of a mess. With some brine left over, I went hunting in the fridge and around the house. I found these beautiful peppers, including some new jalapenos. It's time. you got to use that brine in these. It's going to be great. Look at these beautiful, vibrant colors. They're just so spectacular. You think maybe I shouldn't eat them, they're so nice, but nah. They taste even better than they look. 
All right, now they're all together in the brine. I'm going to seal them up. Time to jump forward to the future, get the grill hot, mix up some burgers, and get all of this stuff together for an Americana barbecue. Can't wait. All right, let's get these onions started. I've got my ground beef here. I'm gonna add some salt, some black pepper, onion powder, some low sodium soy sauce, and some Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce, whatever you call that stuff is good. A nice squirt of ketchup in there. Ah, now you gotta feel the meat. You gotta mix it up. That might not have sounded good. You gotta feel it and mix it up. Get in there. Don't crush it. Just kind of move it around. Move it around and join all the flavors together. I've also got some minced chicken breast here. I can add some vegetables. You can refer to my old video on the chicken slot of your dreams. It's the same recipe except for instead of thigh meat, here I'm using breast salt and pepper and some Frank's hot sauce in there and a little splash of the Worcester sauce. Time to bring that all together and make some nice delicious patties. By the way, don't cross contaminate. Change your gloves in between or wash your hands. Just make sure you clean and do everything the right way. Pickled onions, pickled peppers with the jalapenos in there. Oh, that's gonna be delicious. I can't wait to have these on top of these burgers. Fire up the grill, get it hot. Let's get those burgers on there. Flame broiled, just like the old days. <laughs> and a couple hot dogs too, of course. Toast your buns, side of corn. Put those delicious sauteed onions right on top. This is looking good. Okay, I'm going bunless for the chicken. You see I got them nice coleslaw and good tomatoes right on the side. This is gonna be great. I love sauteed onions and mushrooms too. Have to top this off with those beautiful pickled onions and peppers, especially the jalapeno. Give it a little spice and lots of crunch. I've also got another spatchcock chicken, which you can look a couple weeks ago to get that recipe. I've got a lamb rib on top of the smoker and some amazing smoked steaks. Maybe that'll be a future episode. Delicious stuff. Now that was delicious! <laughs> I don't care who you vote for, as long as we can eat like this. <laughs> Folks, it's been great today. Those pickled onions were delicious. The crispy, juicy, they had that, that tang to them that you really, really want. The burger itself was just phenomenal. That's what we like in our backyard, Americana barbecue, right? Get out there, vote, get the information you need to make an informed, educated vote, and let's make sure that we've got a great society for us to thrive in and be careful and make sure to pray that our government should represent us well. Have a great day. See you next time on The Rabbi Cooks. Thanks for joining us. If you like what you see here on The Rabbi Cooks, then please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends. Share it with your friends. Everybody should know what we're doing here at The Rabbi Cooks. Let's learn something together. Let's eat great food. Let's meet amazing people. Let's do it together. So please share and like and eat delicious food with amazing people while discussing incredible ideas.